Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to What is Warlock Master of the Arcane, or possibly Let's Try Warlock Master of the Arcane. I don't know what to call these things. Every time I use what is, people say, oh, you're copying Total Biscuit. Well, no, I'm just sort of saying a sentence, but whatever, one or the other. Warlock Master of the Arcane is, um, it's not yet released. This is an alpha version of the game, or pre-released version of the game anyway. It doesn't have the final AI and it doesn't have the multiplayer, which will be in this game. This is very similar, you can think of this as like a fantasy take on Civilization V, or an updated version of Master of Magic, which is a game I love so much. Um, and so we're gonna go and we're gonna do a quick run through of what the gameplay of this is like. I haven't played a full game, but just enough to kind of get a hang, uh, a hang of the basics. Right away, when we start a new game, we get to choose a difficulty. I'm going to keep it on normal. Sure, what are the difficulties? Oh, it's actually quite a cool little selector. I like that a lot. Holy crap. So it goes from relaxed, casual, normal, challenging, and impossible. Well, we'll leave it on normal for now and hit next. And that just brings us to the next section down here. I actually like their UI quite a bit. These gears are cute. The, the font could possibly use a little bit of work. And I just realized the, uh, the mouse is all screwy in my recording. If I do this, then you don't see my mouse at all. Well, that's unfortunate. There's a couple of games I have that record that this way, and uh, it doesn't look like this in the game. I'm just looking at my preview screen. That black squ square you see around the mouse is uh, it's not in the game, so don't worry. World size from small, normal, large, and extra large. We'll keep it on, on large for now. Additional worlds. Now, what is this? Well, I haven't gotten far enough to really encounter this in the game. But both Master of Magic and um, and Age of Wonders had alternate planes, so sort of mirror worlds that you could jump between that had different a variety of different traits. Well, apparently the same thing exists here, except instead of only having basically only one additional world, the normal world and the shadow plane, you can have up to... Oh, it's locked here. What if I went extra large? Ooh, up to six additional worlds. And that is very intriguing. I'm going to leave it on the default three. And then rival great mages, so those are how many opponents you're going to have. Because, of course, you represent a great mage of some kind. They have a variety of pre-designed ones. We have Anna the, the Benign, Nicholas Frost, the Grand Librarian, El Elpirister the Eternal, that is a hard name to say, the Empress, the King Lich Five. Many assume the number five after the name of the, this king means that there were four other Lich Kings before him. But that is something of a misconception, for there's been only one King Lich. And the number instead represents how many times he has been resurrected. Ah, it is in part a sort of warning to his enemies, a reminder that the vengeance of the unknown king can never be entirely avoided. That's kind of cool. Rajak, oh, now this is totally to me a big throwback to Master of Magic. Wow. King Krat the 17th, all right. Sol the Torvega. Well, they've got a lot of like pre-made guys. And of course, all these people, there we go, brings us back to uh, the first person that it was up. Um, of course, all these people can be customized. Now they all come with a couple of perks or one or two perks. We're gonna jump into the customize screen just to show what that looks like. It looks like if we clear this all out, you get to start with 10 points and then you can purchase a variety of perks and spells to start off with. Now, can I just start with a bunch of spells? I could if I wanted to just be start with a bunch of spells to cast right off the bat, but it seems like at the beginning of the game you probably won't have that much mana to just spam spells, so you're, you're not going to want quite as many of them, and you're probably going to want some of these perks that stay with you forever. Increased casting speed, sure. Better food production, that's probably good. Extra researching, these all sound really excellent. Treasury and Mana Vault actually just give you a static, flat bonus to the beginning, not a production over overall, so that might, depending on the game length, may be more or less awesome, I don't know. Uh, in experience per turn for your units, well that sounds pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm going to pick up a Researcher, and then what sounds good? I'm going to use this guy, I'm going to go, ooh, Firestorm sounds pretty good, Summon Imps. Some of these are pretty expensive, Ice Ring, Weakness, you know what, we're going to go Lesser Fireball, and a lesser heal, and then we're gonna pick up um, Magnate for a bonus to production. Oh, that's gold production per turn. Excellent, that sounds good. So we've got a pre-generated guy here. Oh, choose a starting race. We can be... Oh, there's no tooltip for these guys. That's unfortunate. So it looks like humans, maybe some sort of goblin, and some sort of weird, freaky, maybe it's undead races. 
We're gonna start, well, you know what? Let's go with the weird freaky undead race and see what it's actually like in game. Choose your color, awesome. Um, you know what, I'm good with the purple. I'm fine with that, and of course we can rename ourselves and we're gonna be Quill 18. Yeah, that is us. Next, the game will start. Rejecting a quest offered by God worsens your relationship with him or her. So already, when I, when I started reading that kind of stuff, I got very intrigued about this game. There are four ways to win this game, something like that. One is to kill all the other great mages. Okay, fair enough. That's pretty standard. Uh, one way is to... There's something about becoming like the only high priest or something. I don't know enough about the game to know exactly what that means. One way is to ca cast like the big final uber spell of the game. Complete that. So, you know, the sort of research spell casting victory. I like it. Another way, apparently, is to royally piss off one of the gods, have his avatar show up on the planet to, to punish you, and then kill the god. That wins you the game, too. There are actually eight gods that you can have relationships with, and they can apparently offer you quests as you go, which is really interesting. That's in addition to the standard sort of um, Civ-style diplomacy that you can be at war or allied or possibly trade with different people. Um, so yeah, there's my perks, there's me, I haven't met anyone else yet. Show hide blessings and banes. Well, doesn't do anything right now. Over here, we've got our spell research panel. So it shows us how many turns it would take to research every spell. Shadow Bolt. Well, we already have Fire Bolt. Maybe we'll go for something different. Heal. Maybe a weakness would be good. Dispel might also be nice. So they've got the lesser Shadow Bolt, which is fast to research and pretty cheap to cast. And then full on Shadow Bolt. So the lesser Shadow Bolt is 18 mana for 8 damage. And this one is 55 mana for 24 damage. So, I mean, it scales up, but obviously we probably want to wait until a little bit later. Probably when we have to deal with more powerful units, and of course we have more mana. I like the idea of picking up a heal. Although I just did that, and I realized, yeah, we are undead. So, never mind. Because heal heals not undead units. So, no, no, no. Uh, you know what, we're going to grab weakness then. We're going to debuff people. So here's the map. The map looks very similar or very familiar to anyone who has played Civ V. This sort of cloudy, a fog of war type of thing. I do like the glow around the city. I think it's quite nice. Um, big fan of that. And if we click on the city itself, on the left-hand side, buildings to build. On the right-hand side, units to build. And you do have two separate queues. You can build a building and units at the same time. That's a very uh, Master of Magic type thing, which I, which I think is fine for this genre. Um, you know, so you don't have to sacrifice one for the other, although there's a whole cost thing. One thing that's interesting in this game, as opposed to Civ, is that each building actually takes up an, a hex in your city. It uses up an actual physical slot. Um, so you really have to kind of make some harder decisions about what to build. And right now, these are the buildings that are available, but I can also filter it to just show me all the buildings. And there are a lot of different buildings. And your radius, your border radius will expand outward. Um, it, I think. I think I, I remember seeing it going outward in the test game that I did. Um, so you will get more room for more buildings, but you are a bit limited. So to start off with, we have one mana trap, which gives us mana per turn, but costs us a little bit of gold. It's also required for a graveyard or a mana farm. We have a market here, which gives us gold production. Um, I assume, yeah, gold. Little crowns are gold. Required for bat fort and craftsman district. Oh, this is, these buildings are going to be really cool on this undead team. And we have a graveyard required for skeleton warriors, archers, veterans, snipers, and smithies. It costs us gold and mana. All right, and then we've got our city itself, which gives us five of all of our resources, apparently, and has built-in hit points and an attack. When, to take over a city, you need to defeat any unit that might be sitting on the city, but then you also have to beat down the city itself, which I think is a fine model. It works really well in Civ Five. I actually think it's an improvement over some of the uh, the older Civ games, and I really like the fact that they've incorporated in here. Um, unlike Master of Magic, there is no um, there's no tactical combat mode. It's just you just move a unit onto a tile, they do their damage to each other, and then the combat is over. And if you win, you enter that tile type thing, uh, which is Fine. There, I did like some of the gameplay elements that you get in some of these fancy uh, games where it does drop to a tactical combat, but I'm not going to complain too much. So we can build a bat fort. I have, I'm not entirely sure what this little tiki is for. Oh, this is telling me that buildings of this type are not in my empire, perhaps? Maybe. 
Um, anyway, Bat Fort allows us to build green bats, black shadows, and tax offices. Smithies would give us a perk of fine armor for three classes. It looks like archer classes, animal classes, and melee classes, if I'm reading that correctly. Um, it's not entirely clear what those little symbols mean. But, yeah, I'm assuming the smithy yeah, so will upgrade the armor on our units, more or less. That's pretty good. Farm gives us more food, which sounds good. Mana farm for more mana. Craftsman district for more gold. Um, kind of like the idea of making, getting bats. Also costs us food to upgrade this, but we do have a big surplus of food, so we don't need a farm right now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and build a bat fort. And I will drop it here. Yeah, and that's going to take three turns to build, and meanwhile, I'm going to build some skeleton archers. Why not? And that's that. Close. Uh, sandy deserts, so that's where the unit's being built. Alright. Graphics, that's as far as it, far in as I can zoom. The uh, little idle animations look fine, don't mind that one bit. We seem to be in a pretty nice area of the world, actually. The last game I started in like the tundra, and it looked kind of miserable. So let's scout out, scout out, left click to select, left click to move, pretty straightforward. Can I not, do I not have enough mo movement to enter the swamp, really? How much is the, uh, what's the movement on the swamp? It doesn't actually tell me on a mouse over here. That's unfortunate, but apparently two is not enough. Because I still do have movement. And I don't think it's being blocked, because it does tell you when something is impassable. Ooh, Minotaur Caves. So we should be able to scout that out. That's basically like the Civ style goody hut that we want to explore. Unit orders, we're going to send this guy over to the west in this direction. And jump onto the barren plains and lost the caravan, but I'm out of movement. Yes. Well, I've already recruiting him, so I don't need that. And that is that for my turn. So we're gonna end that. Someone else took their turns very quickly, not much for them to do. Idle unit requesting orders, yes. Oh! Neutral units just came up here. Now if I mouse over, I do get a stat um, overview. And it tells me that I should be inflicting 8 damage and only take 2 in return, so that sounds pretty positive. My Skeleton Warriors versus some Skeleton Archers, so I should be able to pretty handful win this fight. I'm not going to kill them, but I'm going to weaken them, which is fine. Oh, and actually, oh, they get pushed away! Now that is a different mechanic from most games. Cool, so I get to capture that Lost Caravan. And there is a city over here. Now I'm assuming this is probably going to be a neutral city. So this is Plains Resource Magic Nodes. Certain buildings can be constructed here. Oh yes, if it's inside a city radius. There's lots of little special resource tiles. But for now, I'm going to go and... Oh, that's another construction thing, really. It's not a capture thing. Alright, well then we'll just... Oh, I can't go there. Let's go here. Oh, pack of wild animals. And I'm going to shoot them at range. And do, actually, a pretty respectable amount of damage. And then end turn. The neutrals were taking their action, just backing away to their city, and then shooting me, which is very rude, but they only did one point of damage. Oh, I should be fine. What is this? So commands I can give them, defend, so they'll be fortified, rest to regain their hit points. I can also disband the unit. So special traits, these units are dead, they are immune to death magic, um, but have decreased resistance to life magic, I'm assuming is what that represents. Um, unless it just means they're resistant to it, but I don't think that's the case. And they can't be healed by life magic. And as a skeleton, oh, they're resistant to missile damage. That's why I took so much less damage. So yeah, I'm vulnerable to life magic, resistant to missile damage, exactly what you would expect from skeletons. I'm also gaining experience points here. So I should be able to walk over here and hurt these guys. Not finish them off, I believe. And we've got the city of deep water over here, which I believe is neutral, and they do have some uh, some of their own skeleton warriors, and they're going to hit back a little bit. More idle units. Ah, I built some more skeletons. Well, let's come over here and apply some more pressure to this town. I should probably pull these guys back and rest, actually. And apparently I've completed a spell. Skeleton settlers can be recruited in the city of Mist Castle. Right, so those are my settlers. Right? So I can use them to expand. And I may as well pick some of those up and see what that's like. I can research a new spell because my first one is done. We've got uh, haste now. Well, that's very interesting. So I can right-click to show info. It's a blessing. 
Spellable. So, it's a buff I put on a unit. It lasts basically forever until the spell. It has an upkeep of 2 mana, and right now I'm only making 3 per turn, so that would be quite costly. But it gives them plus 1 movement, which is actually pretty nice for exploration purposes. And you know what? I'm going to pick it up, because I may want to give that to one of my scout type units. I'm going to take another shot over here at these wolves, maybe finish them off, hopefully get some more experience points for my units. Excellent. Recruiting is completed. Right, but I've queued up some more, so that's fine. And you, did I not move you yet? What do we have here? Halberd Hall. Interesting. And end turn. So we're just going to play a handful more turns, maybe expand, maybe try to take a city. I actually don't know how difficult it is to claim these cities and how much of a threat I'm at here. So now I'm taking damage from both the melee units in the city, the skeleton warriors that were there, but also the city itself shot at my skeleton warriors. Again, luckily, my skeleton warriors are pretty well covered against arrows. Now, what is interesting so far, oh, shipwreck can be looted by any unit, but I'd have to build some ships. What is interesting so far is that virtually everything, if not everything, has just been done with the mouse button at this point. I click to select, click to move. That's actually, I think, uh, more and more games are going to be designed that way. I'm actually, even though I'm going to get the worst off from this attack, I'm going to go ahead and do this anyway. See how much damage we can apply to the city. I probably shouldn't be doing this. Oh, I leveled up though. I don't know what that gives me. Level up unit. Cover specialist. Mm, defense bonus on rugged terrain. Well, I'm on open terrain right now. These are all planes, so that's not going to help. Plus 20% melee. That sounds pretty good. Or resistance to melee. Actually, I quite like that, because I'm probably going to get attacked by melee again. I'm already resisting against, arrow, against arrows, so let's blade wall up. Did it heal me at all? Mm, doesn't appear so. I'm at 11 of 27. I'm not sure. I can queue up a new building here. What are these? Oh! Pumpkin farm can be built on pumpkins. Fields of ghosts can be built on pumpkins. That's like the great pumpkin spirit or something? Gives perk ghost armor. Just cost me money, gives us ghost armor for... It looks like biting units? Those an like the, the, It looks like the same symbol that was on the wild animals. So maybe for bats? Can I right-click on these guys? I can. Ah, creature. There we are. Skeleton settlers are just peaceful units. Archers have the ranged icon. Skeleton warriors are melee. So Field of Ghosts gives a bonus. It looks like creatures and maybe spellcasters would get that. That's quite cool. And then the pumpkin farm gives lots of food, but also lots of mana, which I like. I'm going to pick the, pick this up for the mana great, um, boost. It's also odd, I feel that it lets me build a harbor even though I'm not coastal. Although maybe this counts as coastal. Um, I wonder if it would let me build ships. Like this Caravellus, I don't know. It, could, it still gives me income and it still upgrades to an air dockyard, so I guess there's a, a benefit to that. But yeah, for now I'm going to build the pumpkin farm on the pumpkin patch. That is so adorable. Ah. Oh. And uh, so that's going to finish there. I'm going to queue up, I'm gonna queue up uh, some bats. They're scout units, so they get what? Plus one sight range. Excellent. They move pretty quick. I can give him haste, probably, and really let him uh, scout pretty far. So let's do that, and then we'll probably queue up some of the more aggressive units in case I fail to take that city. Right, we can create those bats. That's fine. Construction is complete. Idle unit requires orders. Let's finish off those wolves, hopefully. And they have a wolf den here, which I'll be able to loot afterwards. Great! End turn. I have to say, like, the game, it feels like, I, I don't know, it actually feels really good. I was going to say not quite super polished, but it's not like AAA polished, but it is like AAA indie, like, polished, pretty goddamn good. As long as the game offers a lot of replay value, and the fact that you can customize your mage at the beginning tells me it does, Assuming it's got that, and assuming that the AI patch that they're coming out with is going to be really awesome, I could see myself playing this game for a long, long, long time. Give me expansions, I will buy them. That's a that's actually a given by itself. Let's go loot the wolf then. Ooh, let me get some more critters. So we got 40 gold, okay. And we can take a shot at these uh, monster-eating spiders. I'm a monster, I don't want to be eaten by spiders. 
and then we'll be able to move that up. Level up. Yes, let's do that. So we can get plus 20% missile damage. That sounds pretty good. Uh, resistant to missile damage. I don't know if my skeletons really need that, although at that point they'd be impossible to kill at range. And cover specialists. I'm just going to give them the uh, missile damage. It looks like the uh, the monsters, or the uh, the creatures, are unwilling to leave their their dens to attack me. At least the wolves were like that. Um, so it means the archers are probably really good at clearing these sorts of things out. Not that I think they're very powerful and very threatening in general. And then a test game that I played, um, there was there were some roaming packs of wolves, so it's not like they're all static. Um, what did I build? Oh, my settlers! Where will I settle? I'm thinking somewhere down here. Take advantage of this and that. In fact, I might be able to build right on the coast, right in the swamp. I built a castle on the swamp. They said it couldn't be done. Well, that castle sank, but then I built it again, and that one sank too, but then I built it again, and that one stood up. No, wait, it toppled over and burned. And <laughs> can't remember the Monty Python quote. But yeah, let's see if we can build in the swamp. It might not let us, but we're going to find out. More unit orders. Yes, well, let's, uh, let's press this attack. See if we can at least get a kill there. Let's see how that's done. And you are... You know what? I'm just going to... Yeah, I'll send you to defend. Including is complete. Although I queued up some more as well. Yeah. Unknown great mage. We're going to have to find our neighbors at some point. Neutrals are going to attack that defense unit. Only took one damage. and actually hit them back for three. Nice. Okay. We're going to take a little bit worse for wear here, but overall going forward. Um, I'm not going to do anything there. I got a quest! A quest! My lord! Oh, here's the You have the received the first humble request for your assistance. You may agree to grant it, or you may refuse. But do consider who is asking. It is unwise to refuse quests offered by the gods. They may become quite angry if you refuse. And even more angry if you fail to complete a task. So noted. Where's my quest? Build a craftsman district. All right, a little bit of money, and who's actually giving me the quest? I don't know. Is this the quest giver? I'll have to check the gods. It might just be a generic quest for a bonus. Hmm, I don't know. All right, you. Yeah, no, I don't want you to do anything. Level up unit. You, I'm going to give Furious Charge to. And you just keep defending. Hopefully heal up a little bit. You can shoot that guy. Apparently we can shoot over hills. Oh, uh, this is a plane, really? No, it's just not updating the... Uh, it is a barren plane. Oh. How curious. It looks kind of hilly to me. Join this game. It's really going to rely a lot on uh, diplomacy. Does make a difference for these sorts of things? Advisors. In their travels, your troops may find portals to other worlds. Uh huh. To enter yes, Sean a portal, simply send a unit to its hex. But I must warn you, my lord, <gasps> that warning. other worlds can be very dangerous places indeed. You had better have quite an army, <laughs> or first send in a recon force. I would recommend a low-level unit, or even a summon troop, someone that won't be sorely missed. So noted. Then tell me that because I found a portal? I don't know. Oh, there's some more pumpkins over here. Alright, I... Oh, we did take out the, um, that warrior, apparently. And it looks like we can actually apply a decent amount of damage to the city here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. These troops are so hurt. Did I hit it with the spell? And you know, I didn't even think about you. Actually, I don't have any mana. That's the problem. I, do I use mana to research? I suppose I might. Are those caught? No, those are research points. Hmm. Army up here! My army is magic? Is it really? Or is it these green bats? Upkeep is food. Oh! All my skeletal units need mana. 
but my bats don't. They just just take food. That's cool. Well, I'm happy I built a pumpkin farm then. And apparently I'm not building anything. Well, it's probably going to ask me in a second. Let's make sure that that's the case. All right, bats, you know what? You're going to come over here. And I know you were supposed to be scout units, but we're going to swing you over this way. Because you're going to make sure we can capture this city. Fire. Die, spiders. I like the sounds they make as they shrivel up and die. Recruiting is complete. Construction is complete. Yeah, so let's... Take a look. Yeah. Um, ooh, Bat Fort, which I can... It's checked off. Because I already have one. So why would it let me build more than one? So the building of this type is already in one of the cities. What's the advantage? Oh! The Bat Fort itself adds hit points and defense to my city. So my city is tougher. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, mana is, is an issue. So what can we do to increase that? Insufficient population. Right, okay. And I do remember reading about that. Um, the problem is, I'm actually not seeing the population. Oh, there it is! It's hard to see with this little tile behind it. So my city has a population of five. Now, can I see that anywhere on this screen? Well, I guess it's at 5,000 and change. That would be the interpretation. It's an undead city. So because I have a population of five, I can actually only work five buildings. My city has to grow before I can build anything else which is a really interesting thing. Of course, I have a quest to build that craftsman district, which is awkward. I guess that's turn seven overall. I've got 19 turns to build that. I will grow in time to drop one, so that's good. Um, I suppose I could build more military units, but you know what I'm gonna save up? I don't know if the excess food, if excess food converts to gold, does it help the growth of the city? I don't know. I perused the manual. The manual is pretty skimpy. Uh, like, there's not even a, a section that talks about shortcut keys, which I was kind of disappointed about. Um, and that's something I would like to see improved. Really? Deciding to shoot the bats who are perfectly healthy? Yeah, the AI... I don't know. Unless the AI knows something that I don't. That seems like kind of an odd decision. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to have enough to finish this up. Will you... Yeah, you just sit tight for now. We'll come back here. You, go and check out that spider hole. Which would seem creepy, except I'm only sending in skeletons. Oh! What the heck? That was a middle mouse button. That also does a click? What if I right-click on this guy? Right-click is info. See, because I was trying to scroll the map, and I, I can't seem to be able to scroll during, using the mouse. I can do it if I do the edge scrolling. But it's kind of awkward because I have to run it in a window with my setup for the recording and stuff. I guess if you're running full screen, it would be fine. But I kind of like being able to click and drag the, uh, the terrain with my middle mouse button. Wouldn't surprise me if that was added into a patch at some point. Um, again, Paradox is really good about patches adding a lot of content. So I have kind of a lot of faith in that aspect of things. Alright, again, going for the bats. Bats are not very good at attacking cities, it seems. Uh, I feel like we may have exhausted how much we can do here. I don't know. This guy can still do three in return for one. So come up a little ahead. Slowly whitt whittling it down. So yeah, you just sit tight. We'll come back to you. So, can I build a city in a swamp? I can. Boom. And it starts me with a mana trap right away, which is nice. My population is a thousand, so I actually can't build anything right now. I've got to wait for my population to grow. I can destroy the city. Fun, fun. So, I mean, I, in a way, it might have been better to build it one hex over and get both of these. Although, I don't know if they do anything on their own. They're just special, so special stuff can be built on top of them. So I'll wait for the, uh, the borders to grow. You can see they have grown here. I don't know what dictates that growth right now, but it seems fine. Actually, I need to get the uh, my archers over here. That's what needs to happen. Got a 
little bit of mana stored up. I suppose I could build one more military unit to help me take that out. Warriors seem to do pretty well. It might all be over in two turns, but... Yeah, I should probably actually just pull back with my units if I'm not going to attack. Yeah, they can't quite do it. So we're gonna I'm going to pull back. Hopefully so we're out of range, although I'm not convinced that that's true. Probably have to move two tiles away. See, there's impassable terrain. Let's do that. We'll move two tiles away and then spend some more time dealing. Although I don't know, frankly, I don't know if undead units heal, if I recall. Is there a thing about that? There may have been. Mmm, just can't be healed by life magic, that's all. I can build something, so let's build that craftsman district, because that is what I have the quest for, right? Yes, it is. Kind of nice that there's a pop-up at that point. Craftsman district, we're going to build it. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Just in the desert. Um, yeah, build me one more warrior. It does cost me mana, but... I'm just going to lead the charge. What's this? Rest, yes. Do that. Rest. Rest. End turn. I can shoot, and no counterattack either. Well, that's the way to do it. Okay, ranged units appear to be OP. And the fact that skeletons are, like, effectively immune to ranged unit means they're pretty strong. Like, oh no, the city's gonna shoot me back for one, and then I'm gonna shoot it for eight. Wow. That doesn't seem right. You know what, you can go in and apply some damage too. I should have just built tons and tons of these uh, archers. Because they are ridiculously good. Okay, and the units heal pretty fast. There we go, I'll level up on the archer, and we should be able to take this town. We have! And I can research a new spell. What do we got? Life weapon enchant. All attacks of the target inflict additional life magic damage. That doesn't sound like the sort of thing I want. Can I like make it go away? It doesn't look like it. Hey, we'll pick up a dispel. Dispels are always handy to have around. You have nothing. This planes is nothing exciting. I guess we're gonna start off with um a mana trap. We can't even recruit units here because we don't have the right things, but that's okay. Level up. You, perceptive, experience in turn. Maybe? I don't know, more XP sounds good if that's really what it does. Oops, it wasn't you. It was you. Right, new art, new warriors. Well, you snoop around down here. Let's cast a spell. Let's throw haste on our bats. They've got flying too, right? Yeah, so they can even go over oceans. Oh, I don't have enough mana. They can. All right, let, let's see if we can't check out the shipwreck with the bats. That would be kind of nice. Oh, I can. Sweet. I completed the quest. Recruiting is complete, yes. Construction is complete. I'd like if the recruiting is... Oh, don't do that. Thank you. I'd like if the recruiting is complete actually brought me to the city window. I suppose I shouldn't spend anything else. Uh, maybe skeleton archers, actually. Or, sorry. Settlers. Oh, yeah, I'm going to settle another city. That seems like the worthwhile thing to build. They build fast? Maybe too fast. Like, I can spam these out really easy. The AI, AI might be doing the same thing, I don't know. Impassable? Is this all impassable? What is this? But is this this is this white line? That's this oh, that's the southern border of the entire map. There is no more down here. Curious. And just some ancient runes. Just 
rest. You, you know what? You can just defend the city, I guess. I should probably leave someone in the other city as well. There's some donkeys there. Earth elementals. Mystic portal. Oh, there's a portal. Can be looted by any unit. My graveyard can be looted. Huh. I don't think my bats, yeah, they're not going to be strong enough. So, just, just scout. Is this neutral? I think it's neutral. It's quite the island, though. We're going to have to build some ships or something. Where are you going? You, yeah, you stay there. That's perfectly fine. Actually, we should defend Cold Shore as well. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. It looks like the cities are really tanky, but not terribly good at dealing with you loot the graveyard. I've captured skeleton snipers and a bunch of money. Are those what my archers are called? No, they're different. Ten damage. Hold on. Range two, ten damage. All right. Range two, eight damage. An upgraded sight range two. Uh, hit points 15 HP as opposed to 34 HP. Wow, these are much, much better. You can probably actually. Oh, so those uh, those elementals walked through the Mystic Portal. Mm. Well, we're gonna get some XP by fighting the skeleton warriors. Oh no, they're gonna be super immune to our archery. Well, not that immune. Apparently, my strength is quite good. In the stats. Actually, I didn't look at the stats for that. Uh, we were the worst for wear on there, but we did get an upgrade. Pathfinders, Possibility Dense, Poor Hilly, Sharp Tooth, that is a lot more damage. But yeah, I should use this as a scout unit. I'm worried that he's going to get killed by his counterattack there, which would be unfortunate. You grew enough to get something. Fantastic. You know what? We're going to build a harbor here. Um, yeah, we're going to want one eventually. So there we go. Ah, uh, it does have to be built right on the edge. Ah, the harbor's not in the city. That's why I could build one in the other city, because I could have still built one right on the coast. It's good to know. Actually, I, I like that quite a bit. That sort of physicality. These are some more settlers, so I guess I won't be able to settle down here at all. These guys, actually, I should have just cancelled. Unless there's something up here, but there probably isn't. Eggs. Um, yeah, so it looks like... I'm going to set one guy over here just to guard that city. And then other than that, we're going to have to wait for some harbors to get finished. Well, I guess we know there's going to be one here, so we're going to swing over in that general direction. Uh, you can defend the city. You defend that city. And turn. This is as far as we go. Sea Serpent? Wow! This is awesome! All right, we're going to come to the end of this particular um, what is here very shortly. Because um, I think I've got a pretty good sense of the game. And Unfortunately, I don't have time for a full playthrough right now. We've got too many other games going on. But especially once this is released and all those, those patches come through, the AI patch and the multiplayer patch, this is going to become part of, of, of my main game library. I have no doubt about it. I like it a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there's nothing else to explore here. Um, you know, I'm going to park him here. We're going to build a harbor here at some point anyway. And you, you're just supposed to be defending. Is that not a permanent defend order? Let's say something about until next turn. That would be annoying. Okay, yeah, and we're just going to fly the bats away. Do we, oh, we don't have enough yet for hasting them, which is unfortunate, but they do have good vision. That counts for something. Are those wolf dens empty? You might be able to swoop in there and pick that up. Okay, yeah. Where's the, like, ah, uh, sentry. That's what we want. Construction is complete. Good, but we can't build anything here. Soon. That might be the growth indicator. I think it is, actually. Mm, 
maybe-ish. It's hard to tell. Hit points, which are apparently growing over time. Ah, uh, perhaps because the city's taking damage. Alright, that's... That's all fine. 250 hit points here. Yeah, because of all the, the extra forts and things that I've built. Well, wonderful. Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this little glance at this game, which I think is quite spiffy. Um, and I'm looking forward to the full release. Hmm. Hope you are too. See you guys next time.